So it's time for a new tutorial and this time we are focusing on Mid Journey. And we have Oliver here. Oliver is back. Welcome back. It's very nice to have you here because we need to dig into the Mid Journey stuff. This has been a, you know, in the office we say it's like an illness that has taken over a lot of people. And this is like a, it's been super, super exciting over the last couple of weeks to like dive really deeper into the world of AI, essentially creating with using simple prompts and, and words, you can create these amazing, amazing creative images. And maybe we should, you should introduce yourself. What's, what, do I, what are you doing? So I'm a food and product photographer, the traditional sense, if you will. So really taking pictures, uh, you know, for clients uh, in studios or on location. And, um, but I've recently gotten really into using AI as a tool in a more creative way. So helping me create new mood boards for clients, putting products um, into very kind of unique situations using very, very high quality cinematic lighting um, or kind of locations that you wouldn't normally find on the internet. And again, it just has helped me over the past couple of weeks. I mean, it's been a long, it's been a strong learning curve for sure. But at the same time, it's really kind of helped me understand, okay, how to be more creative and at the end of the day also allowed me to you know come up with very kind of cool mood boards very very quickly so i'm not on pinterest mm -hmm. for hours searching for images to say oh this is the mood i'm trying to go for i couldn't find that right image um, or on google images um, so it's been a very very helpful tool the kind of one limitation that i found was let's say if i'm doing product photography i can't actually put a product of let's say of a champagne bottle into this ai world so you can prompted the, the Mid Journey bot to say, okay, I would like to have a, a champagne bottle in this particular setting, but it's just gonna be a kind of random champagne bottle. And so what I found is like a cool way to do it is to kind of create an AI world uh, using, let's say a champagne bottle or the bottle we wanna use. And then in post-production, take a picture of a bottle and then in post-production, put that, put that bottle in, um, into the actual AI image. And that's what we're going to do today. We will create two images, AI images, and then we will shoot the two products. We have two bottles. We will create a blue scene. The classic still life on a table, maybe a little bit messy with some kind of cocktail on the table itself. Gin. Craft gin, Stockholm Brennerie. And we have a bit of a fight because I'm a whiskey lover and you're a gin lover. So it's like you got 100%. So maybe you should smell this. That's a good one. Is it? It is still morning time here, so. <laughs> A bit early. It is a bit early, but so that one and that this will put in out in the forest, AI forest. Maybe I can show people what I've done before. It's yes, like absolutely. So what I've done before now is again kind of played around with the idea of having a real bottle, um, but in an AI world. This is so beautiful, and I find it's it's very very powerful because again, if you're putting a you know, if you're prompting the Mid Journey bot are ready to say, okay, red liquor bottle um, with backlighting, you're already going to start to see those shadows from the red bottle. And if you take that out in post-production and then add, you know, the, the bottle or shoot the bottle in the same lighting in real life, and then kind of in post-production push to put that in, you really do have like a powerful, powerful picture. First, let's create the Mid Journey images, the AI images. Yeah. So we will have a nice environment, environment. atmosphere. So how do we start? I would say we jump into Mid Journey. We will not go through Mid Journey and how Mid Journey works. I have a video on that, how you can like jump start on Mid Journey under the member sections, or you can go on to YouTube. There's a lot of videos about this. Mm. So we would just jump into it and create the images, yes? Exactly. And maybe it'd be cool to understand like more the, the process of which like we could come up with something uh, like an image like this. So for instance, uh, with this particular bottle, so if we do like the, the forest world, mm -hmm. let's say for instance, right? Um, if you go into here, so this is the imagine prompt, we can say moss on a rock in a forest, dark and moody sun ray lighting from behind, because I think Having light coming from behind this, kind of showing, going through the bottle itself will make it look quite nice. And maybe what AI is going to do is going to actually cast a shadow in the front as well, which kind of look, look nice. Yes, let's see what we will get. And again, similar to 
I think when people start first using Mid Journey as a way to, to create these images, mm -hmm. people get frustrated yeah. because they're like, ah, this is not exactly what I want. I still say it's very similar to, to photography. You know, when you get onto a photography set, you have to play around with it and you're not going to show up there, set up lights, take a picture and leave. You take a picture, change the lighting, take a picture, change the lighting. And this is very similar to, to AI. I find this is like you prompt the first one, the first prompt, you say, ah, I don't really like it, you refine it. Ah, don't like it, refine it. Oh, I like this. And then you kind of keep on going down that path. And so what I'll do is I'll start creating these worlds where I say, okay, I have to do something with the forest, moss. Then we can start adding, okay, bottle of gin, brown bottle of gin, green bottle of gin. And then you start okay. simple, you're building the world and then you add, keep adding one word at a time and then you will see the change. Okay. So you can see here on like the top right, um, it's a rock in a dark and moody forest with kind of with sun rays in the background. So again, it, it's getting the idea, uh, getting the world that we like. And so what I would normally do is I would take that. You copy. Copy it. So then we can say brown, we can say gin bottle on a rock, moss on a, on a rock forest, dark and moody rays of sunlight from behind. Okay, so now this one we added here. So we like the, the actual environment itself, Ross on a uh, moss on a rock in a forest. Now we added a brown gin bottle, because again, this is brown. So we wanted to see, okay, what will it come up with? Obviously it's not gonna come up with this exact bottle, but we're trying to find something similar that we can take away in post-production and then add this one in. Yes. So we're starting to get, again, light from the back, casting nice shadows here. I mean, this is already, honestly, it could be something we could use. But this, you can see how we can start to quickly go down a path of, oh, I like this, oh, I like this more, oh, I like this even more. So you can play around with it. And again, this is unlimited. Yeah. I'm using, you know, sun ray lighting from behind. You can use side lighting, front lighting. It's unlimited amount of ways you can go down, which again, at first is very intimidating. But once you understand there's a certain style that you like, I'm more and more in the dark and moody style. Me too. So this kind of already, clears out a lot of like the bright and light and hard shadows and stuff like that. So this is this kind of always the direction I would go in. And again, if I like the the images that are coming out of it, I essentially would go back in here. And I like to play around with like stylized. This is a little bit more on the advanced side, but if you do stylized, it adds a little bit more detail um, to the image itself. So for instance, on the moss, you'll start to have more defined like, textures on the moss or like there's more textures on the rock, um, rocks and stuff like that. And chaos is on a scale from zero to 100. So if we do like chaos 50, it's just telling the AI bot, okay, uh, use a little bit of your creativity in the shot. Okay, so we can see here, um, again, because I was starting to put the stylized aspect into it, you're starting to see a little bit more detail in the, in the rocks and the moss down here. So again, those are like simple tricks that you can start to use to really enhance that image in the end. But I have to say, I'm still not 100% happy with it. Let's say if we do a brown ball of gin on a moss covered rock in a forest, dark and moody, and now I'm gonna actually specify macro lens. We're gonna be using a macro lens? Yes, yeah. I think so. And so again, Again, you can start to get into so much detail in terms of saying 55 millim yeah, 50, mil mi uh, 50 millimeter yeah, lens sure. or aperture lens. So you can really start to dive with the, the type of camera it is as well. So let's see what this comes up with. I like this direction. Oh, that's nice. Short at the feel. Yes, yeah, so this can be nice. Because it's, I think it's good that we don't have stuff or rocks behind if you want to light it from the back. Yeah. Because then it doesn't make sense. You yeah. cannot have light if there is a rock. For example. So that one, top, top, top right uh, here. Very beautiful. And it looks very realistic, I would say. The moss there. Yeah, very realistic. We can have the top light and uh, we can light it up from the back. But clearly the sun is setting back there, I guess. Yeah. So I think we can make it realistic with this one. But I would say, I think we have a good direction here, to be very honest with you. Yes, and this is, um, we're not sitting here, I mean, I spend a whole day yeah. creating backgrounds to get what I want. So for, for now, we just want to show, inspire you to create your backgrounds in mid-journey, and then you, you have to go on your own mid-journey journey. Yeah. Unfortunately, I find there is not so many YouTube channels where they focus exactly on this. That's why we're doing it, I guess. You know, mixing photography yeah. and creating environment 
as realistic as, po as possible and then put in the, the product yeah. you're shooting for the, the client. So this is the Moss Forest World for this guy, done.